Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and today we're going to make some Italian pastina soup. It is wonderful and I'm making it for church tonight. So I'm going to show you, we're going to do this all from scratch. We're going to start with our own chicken broth all the way. We're not making a pastini though. So you can see in the pan to start with that I got about a three, three and a half pound chicken in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put about 12 cups of water in with this chicken. Cause this is gonna be our broth, okay? And with that, I've got some celery here. We're gonna put that in there. I've got carrots. We're gonna put the carrots in there. And then I got an onion bun. And I'm not going to peel this, but I'm going to cut it in half. And we're going to put the onion peels in there because that will give our, our uh, broth a beautiful flavor, okay? And with that, we're going to do about two teaspoons of salt, okay? And a good teaspoon of pepper, maybe about a teaspoon and a half of pepper. That is all that's going in here. Okay, we're going to turn this on. We're going to bring this up to a boil. Isn't that beautiful in there? We're going to bring this up to a boil. I am going to put the lid on. Once this boils, I'm going to turn this down to medium. And we're just going to let it simmer for about an hour. And that's it'll take about an hour for it to get done. And then once it's done, we're going to shred that chicken. I'll do that off camera. And then I'll show you how we put this pastini together. And you're going to love it. It's easy and it's delicious. Okay, friends, this is done. I took the chicken out of here already and I shredded the, I deboned it already. So right here, we're just going to strain this broth. And I'll give what's left to the chickens. And we've got this beautiful broth to work with. Oh, it smells divine. Okay, friends. Now we have got, I've got the chicken broth done. And it turned out beautiful. I put it in this big bowl. I got the broth done. <clears throat> I deboned the chicken. So that's in the fridge waiting to go in because that goes in last. Um, and I've got my vegetables all cut up my carrots, my celery, and my onion. So that's all done. So is what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this burner on. I washed the pan up too so it's fresh. And we're gonna put a little olive oil in this pan, about a good tablespoon. Let that get warmed up. Hello friends, we're cooking pizza today. Oh yeah, we're making pizzas today too. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take, um. We are going to make, because this is for the church, we're having a supper uh, or a soup dinner tonight at church because we're doing a winter solstice at the cemetery and we're taking the pastini soup and, and I believe we're going to take some like cheesy bread out of the pizza oven. That'd be good, won't it? Yes, it will. Uh-huh, that'd be good with soup. I'll do some just plain and some with a little garlic on them. All right, I think this is ready. We're going to put our veggies in there. I'll put the recipe to this in the description box, but all it is is a couple ribs of celery, a couple carrots, and an onion. And it's beautiful. Look at that, friends. We're also going to do... Probably a couple teaspoons of salt in here. And you know me, I gotta do my pepper. Ha! Perfect. Now we wanna cook these till they're, you know, till they get tender. So we'll just stir those around and let them go. All right. Okay, friends, I forgot. I had cut up garlic earlier. I forgot to put my garlic in here. By the way, I did wind up putting a clove of garlic in with the broth. 
when I was making the broth. So there's a little bit in there. That was two cloves of garlic that I put in here. All right, so that garlic will cook a little bit. These vegetables got to get just a little more tender for me. And then we'll be ready for our broth. Okay, friends. These are nice and tender. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our broth in. Nice big bunch of broth. Gorgeous. Now this, we're going to have to let this cook about five minutes. And I don't need to put any more pepper or salt in there because I already did that. But right here, and this is totally optional, I'm going to put some chicken soup base in there. Only because it will enhance that flavor a little bit. You don't have to do that, but it does make it taste better. You could use better than bouillon. That's probably the best to use, but I'm out of that. So that's what we're gonna use right there. Okay, friends, so now that we've got the broth in here and I added a little extra soup base, we're gonna bring this up to a boil and let this simmer for about five minutes before we put our pastini in, okay? And when we use the pastini, we're gonna use the stars. And I'll show you how little these are. See how little those are? But they're mighty. They will soak up a lot of your liquid. So you can make your soup as thin or as thick as you want with your pastini. And when you use pastini, all pastini is, is tiny pasta. You can use orzo, you can use the stars, which I'm using. You can use the pastini, um, the little tiny, tiny little pasta balls. Um, you could even take spaghetti and chop it up real small, and I mean really small, and that would serve as pastini too. So let's let this cook for five minutes, and we'll add that pastini. Okay, friends, I am so sorry I lost footage, but I did put one cup, I got one cup of pastini in here, and we're gonna let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes till it gets tender, and then we'll be able to add our chicken. Our chicken will be added at the last, the last minute because our chicken is already cooked. So I'll bring you back when we add the chicken after this pastini is tender. Okay, friends, this is set our vegetables, excuse me, our stars are done. <coughs> and I wanted to show you, just look at how, how big they get. They soak up a lot of that broth. Okay, now our chicken is cold, but it's going in here. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna let this go for about another few minutes. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off and just let it sit here for about five minutes because that chicken will heat through again, but we don't want it cooked anymore. Just look at how beautiful that is, friends. All that chicken and the stars and the veggies, just gorgeous. So that's just going to sit there and warm through. But I'm also going to put about a little half tablespoon of parsley just to give it just that little bit of color. Is that beautiful or what? Okay, friends, John's going to try a little bit in our soup cup. It's beautiful. Let me give you just a little bit more broth with that. I don't know if you can see that. Well, you can't see that. But he'll taste it. You saw it in the pan. It's gorgeous. It's really hot. Really, really hot. The sun's shining beautiful in our house. Mmm. Good. You like that? Are those stars nice? Mm hmm Beautiful. Is it good for church? No. Yep. Okay, good. Well, there you have it, friends. I showed you how to make some beautiful, easy, and delicious Italian pastina. I don't know what all soups are going to have at church, but I know this is going to be a goodie. 
I'll put the recipe in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with us in the kitchen, and we'll see you in the next video. And as always, friends, thanks for watching. He's just chowing. <laughs> mm, must be good. He hasn't put the spoon down yet. <laughs>